What is up guys, this is Nikolai, also known as It's Nickers and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In this video we are going to be building a little more on this world here. Um, in the last kind of two episodes I think it was, uh, we built this house and there's still gonna be uh, more tutorials or more you know videos on these ha this, this house here, it's not done yet. But in this video I think we are going to be doing something else. Um, as you can see right here I've just done a little bit of a path going along here. Nothing too special and I also added in some grass here um, uh, and did some um, landscaping over here as well. And as you can see over here I added in my little redstone machine. Um, and if you don't know what this is uh, go and look up on my channel. There is a video on this, and this is basically a time machine. Uh, it keeps the time to uh, a thousand, um, like uh, twenty-four-seven, so I don't have to change that. So that's fixed now. Uh, I had to change it in the last video, um, so sorry about that. But anyway, in this video, I thought to myself, um, let's make this city uh, look more alive. And how do we do this? We basically add more houses. So what we're going to be doing in this episode is we're going to be taking our old um, brick style houses since this is a kind of brick style house, half brick style house if you can say it like that. But we're going to be taking our old brick style houses and then copy them into this world um, and then just, you know, make this place look a lot better than it is right now. So I think that's the first thing we're going to be doing. So I'm just go, go, uh, going to go in and grab those and I'll be right back when I'm done. Okay guys, so now I have loaded in pretty much uh, this house here, so I think we're just going to be pasting it in right here. As you can see, I took the path up, going, uh, up this way a little bit, I think I'm going to be pasting the house there. I don't know uh, if it's going to look good, but we, I guess we're going to try. I don't know if this you know, pathway here is going to be too tight, it's going to be too uh, squashed together, but I guess uh, there's nothing else to do than just to go paste that in right there. Um, it's not too bad actually, it's not too bad, it, uh, it could be worth, uh, it could be worse, let me see, yeah, let me delete that, go down here a little bit, fly around, at the front here, you know, at the front door, we could go ahead and fix this a little bit here, uh, just a little bit, so somehow like that, go ahead and replace this with grass, um, yes, something like this, still walk into this house there we go so I think that actually is absolutely perfect that's exactly how we want it so I think that's good now let me get rid of that go ahead and grab another tool and then slash slash tree big I want a big tree give me a big tree and then I think I'm gonna be pasting it right there so let me go ahead and grab some logs there uh, and I'm going to be taking it up a little bit higher I found this kind of technique that if you take the tree up a little bit higher, for some reason it looks a lot better. You know, it, it kind of makes the tree look more realistic, um, simply because in real life, you know, trees are bigger than houses, or yeah, kind of is. You know, they're taller than houses, not bigger, they're taller than houses. So I guess that kind of, you know, um, uh, simulates that a little bit better. So we are going to be making, uh, you know, you know, my favorite arms on this tree, or branches, or whatever you really want to call these. Um, I really don't, you know, mind what you call them. They are kind of branches, but you can also call them arms or whatever. Um, so do that, and then maybe if we take that down a little bit further there, then something like that, and then make you maybe three. So if we adjusting the tree here. I know some people might say this is too much but you know it's always the small detail that really adds something to this place so if we let me see here if we take that branch going from there then we can do that yes perfect that's exactly how we want it and then down here you can make some support again this is kind of like the roots uh, of the tree you know trees are not just one single pillar going up so that is something again copying kind of from real life um, or you know, trying to simulate something from real life so there we go then we can go ahead and add some fences down here this is not really anything in real life but I think it adds a little bit there so that is good and then we can go ahead and place some grass here in the path I guess you don't really know 
yep. First house is in, so I think now the only thing is uh, left to do is go in and find my other house, see if I can find it. Don't know if I have deleted it, and if I have, I guess there's no no uh, other thing than just to build it again. Look at my video and build it again, but I think I have a fairly good idea where it is in my world or something like that, where I've saved it. So I think I'm going to go in and grab that, and then we'll find out where to paste it next. Okay guys, so now I think I found my other, uh, you know, house tutorial. I think I found my other house. So I've, I've copied it uh, or you know, saved it as a cinematic, so it's ready to be copied. So now we just need to find a place where to paste this. Um, I want to kind of close to these kind of houses here. Um, I guess we could paste it here. Is that going to be looking good? We could paste it going, you know, uh, this way instead. Uh, so the door is like coming here. So I think we're going to be trying that. So if I stand here, let me see. If I stand here and I go D slash slash paste. And I paste that in. Uh, okay, so it comes that way. Okay, so undo that. Undo that for a second. And go over here somewhere. And then paste it in. So if I go somewhere about here. Let's say here and I paste it in again. There, where is it going to be pasted? There, okay, so it was this block, so if we move over about two blocks, uh, yeah, let's say two blocks, so undo that, uh, it's a little bit back and forth, but you know, it's easier than building, oh, I tucked that wrong, uh, there we go, so paste that add in, yes, so remember this block, oh, let me just put that glass block there, just so we remember, uh, it actually doesn't look too bad, forward just so this is not too square, squashed up uh, but then it gets too much into the desert uh, yeah question is uh, let me just undo that I think we're going to be moving uh, over to two forward so undo that we can always go back so undo that there we go then move this forward to about there and paste it in moment of truth Yes, that's a little bit better. Uh, where is the door? Let me see here. The door is not there. The door is not there. The door is actually over on the other side, but that's okay. We'll just change that around. So let me see. Can I grab a glass? Yes, I can. So paste, put that there. Then go over to the other side. Pick up that and then put that back so we don't mess up anything in the desert there. And then we do a little bit of landscaping just to keep the theme going here. We don't want to ruin anything of the you know beautiful landscaping that there is already here. Um, so there, and then maybe at the bush. Perfect. Get rid of all this uh, junk in our hot bar there, just so we keep it nice and clean. Then I think this uh, maybe room for a door here. And pick these items up. Place the door from the inside. Uh, oh, there is a ladder. Then place the door from the inside. Perfect. So now we have a door there. Okay, and then I think we're just going to be making a little path going into this door here. So, something like that. Maybe some cobblestone in the path here. Just going to do this by hand. That's a lot easier when it's just this little bit here. So, let us see. I want to... Uh, I don't want to have too much. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Absolutely fine for now. So, there we go. Um, two of those houses are in. Uh, I see we messed a little bit up here. Um, I guess I'll just uh, pause the video right here, see what this uh, is supposed to look like and I'll uh, build it with you guys on camera. Okay guys, so I think I found a solution to this problem. I found uh, how to add the roof and it goes. Uh, so at the end here we have our signature roof ending, uh, which we always use. And over here we also have our signature roof ending. So just like that, very very simple. Then on top of all these we just have uh, cobblestone walls. Just like that, and ba that's basically it. So I think uh, I messed up a little bit with uh, the world edit um, or the pasting in of the house, and that just kind of you know missed out. Uh, so I think the next thing we could do is we could paste the f uh, paste in a few more of these houses around the place, just to fill in the city a little bit more. But I think th uh, the first thing I want to do is make this tree a little bit like the tree we did over here. Um, give it a little bit more character, if you can say it like that. Um, add a few more extra custom details to this house. So, uh, we're also going to be adding in some branches around. Um, 
uh, just like this. And I think with these trees, the most important thing is to make the trees uh, as, you know, not as real as, as, um, as you can in real life, but, you know, make them uh, look good. Uh, make them so you think they look good. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so I'm just going to fly all the way over here, grab some cobwebs, fly all the way back, uh, and place a few of those around in a tree as well. Um, and again, this is just basically, I think this looks good. Some people might uh, disagree with me, but you know, I do it as I uh, feel this looks good. And of course you guys can um, come with uh, suggestions on you don't think that looks good. And I might change it if it sounds like a good idea, but you know, if I, I disagree with your, your idea, um, I'm gonna leave it as I did it. But anyway, it, it's always nice to have suggestions uh, on how I do my things. Um, so the next thing I want to do here is a little bit more landscaping, kind of. Um, I wanna add some lighting here. Uh, just so uh, at night, um, this place looks uh, a lot more, you know, um, lit up. Um, so we don't get all these zombies spawning, even though I'm in peace mode, but you know, you get what I mean. Just so, uh, uh, it looks a lot more n nicer and I think at the end of the video, if I remember, I, I don't promise anything. Uh, I might give you a, uh, a quick view of, of this place at night. Um, but anyway, uh, what are we going to be adding next? Uh, as you can see, I, I extended this path up a little bit and I thought I was going to place a house right here. Um, but I think that's going to destroy a little bit more of the, uh, uh, destroy a little bit of the landscaping. So I don't really know what I'm going to do le next. So I think I'm just going to pause the video here for a uh, quick second and then find out what I'm going to be doing. Maybe adding a few more trees, doing the interior of this house. You know, uh, who knows? I might, I might come up with a little uh, thing of what we're going to be doing, and then I'll tell you guys when I found out what we're going to be doing. Okay guys, so I think I found out what we're going to be doing. Since we have a little bit of time left, I think uh, we might be able to, you know, uh, oh my god, uh, we might be able to uh, do some work on, on this house here, and I found out what this house um, uh, is, uh, I found out a good use for this house. Uh, I want this house to be kind of the mayor's house, or you know, I want this house to be kind of the town hall. Um, if any of you play Clash of Clans, I'm personally a huge fan of Clash of Clans, but you know, this is kind of a town hall. It has quite a, a quite a bit of space in here uh, for people to come in here. So this is kind of the mayor's house where he lives. Um, so I'm guessing that uh, let me see here. We're going to be do adding some interior to this house. So we're going to be adding some walls, and for the walls here, I want to kind of have an office. Um, but I don't kind of know where I want that to go right now. We could go ahead and do something like this. Take this a little bit uh, further over. Don't have any slabs. This is, uh, yes, this is slabs. Good. Then four blocks in the ground here. Four blocks like that. And then like that. So we have that stair there. And then I guess we could have a wall going across here. Just to break, up, uh, break it up a little bit. So I know it's going to take up a little bit of space and some people don't like that, but uh, I really want to do this. So do this, um, some of that, place that on top of that, and this is basically where the mayor has his office. So put that, oh scary music, I don't know if you guys uh, heard that, but that was pretty scary. Um, so over here, we could maybe go ahead and uh, make a bookshelf, uh, if I can find it here in my inventory. Perfect, so add a little bookshelf here. I'm gonna keep this interior very, very simple. Uh, could go ahead and do something like that, just make it a triangle. In here, uh, we want a very, very simple bookshelf, uh, a very, very simple desk. So, something like that, the mayor has a office right here. I keep calling the mayor, uh, the mayor. I don't know what uh, else I should uh, be calling him. Uh, tell me in the comments if if uh, you, uh, you really call you know, the leader of a town something else than a mayor, uh, I don't really know. So I'm going to call him a mayor for now, but tell me in the comments if there's kind of like a real word for that. There probably is, but you know, I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to stick with mayor. Um, looks kind of good, looks a little bit retarded, but that's okay. 
just gonna keep going. Um, so we could add some bookshelves. Oh my god, that's gonna interfere with his desk. So I guess we don't do that. Um, let me see here. Let me see anything we can do. We could, we could add a bookshelf there and a bookshelf over here. Then maybe take it across something like that. Maybe do this. A little bit more than, uh, more than um, bookshelf there. Uh, also, now that we're talking about modern, um, a lot of people request that I do modern builds. Uh, they want to see how I go about doing that. Uh, personally, I don't really enjoy doing uh, modern builds. Uh, I don't really know why. Uh, for some reason, I think Minecraft is kind of a um, you know medieval style. Um, game. Um, I don't know why, I might end up in the future uh, doing some modern builds, uh, you know, uh, to see how I go, but, you know, I've never really done a, a, a modern build uh, ever in my life, so it's going to be interesting to see how I go about doing that, but uh, tell me again if the, in the comments if, if it, it's, it's something you guys want to see. Um, so any, anyway, back to the building here. Uh, fence gates. I'm just going to place in some fence gates on both sides here, just so the mayor can sit in here. And his office is turning out pretty good uh, now. He is having a lot of things here. So a plant on one side of him. Plant. It's on the plant here. Uh, a pot, a flower pot. That's what I was looking for. Flower pot and a coffee cup on the other side. So. Uh, a flower in one of them, so we want uh, my yellow flower here, or my white and yellow flower here, which is my favorite flower again, some of that, then I guess, are we going to add a computer, it's going to destroy a little bit of the medieval look, with that, which I was talking about, but no, we're not going to add it in, so just do that, anything more, we could go ahead and grab these, turn them like that, again, this is just some random stuff I'm adding in, of this uh, we could go ahead and add a few more things you know it's all about filling in the roof so this is basically random stuff and so do like that like that over here as well this is just to fill in the walls you know uh, decorate the wall a little bit here we could go ahead and add a painting it's always nice to have a few paintings in your house uh, I have personally a lot of painting in my room or oh, they're not really paintings they're more like posters uh, posters in my room uh, and some of them are not so you know, not so nice anymore they're kind of old so I might have to change those out in the future uh, but now for now I'm just going to keep them in so that looks kind of good uh, the mess uh, the house is kind of getting a little bit cracked in here uh, but you know, we just have to keep going uh, we could add in some cardboards again for decoration he's a little bit messy I guess he is a little bit messy a little bit of a messy guy so behind here we could go ahead and add a little cobweb. Again, we could also add in some chest maybe if we wanted some storage. I don't know if you want that. So you can have like a secret chest down here. Yeah, we could add that. Uh, we can also add a chest. Where can I add a chest up here? No, I can't. I can add one on top of the door. That's going to be kind of fine. It's kind of getting a little bit cramped in here. I think that's going to be fine. Um, so out here, we could go ahead and uh, again add a book bookshelf going all the way up to the top and then maybe across like that. And this I think is too many bookshelves. So I think we're just going to do that and then take that across and do a little bit of decoration there. And across like that. Because we have some roofs. And as you can see, it's very important to do some roof decoration, you know. That's uh, something I've found um, very recently actually. Um, I, I came across it in someone else's build, and you know, he had a really, really good um, roof, roof kind of you know, detail, roof detail is the word I'm looking for, and it, it, it just looked really, really, really nice just looking at the roof, and it, it kind of made, made his whole building look a lot better. So just a, a kind of a flower pot there, again we could go in and grab uh, our trap doors, place them on either side here, so a little flower pot. Very nice to have that in. And here we could add that. Here we could have a painting again. So grab the painting. Add a creeper painting. That's very nice. Can we place it? No. Can we 
pleasant day? No. You could go to pleasant day. That's not really going to add anything to me. Pleasant day? No, you can't. So that's okay. We could place one there. And we place them here. Again, yes, we can. Okay. So that's good. Uh, let me see here. Anything more we can add? Um, no. I think we're just going to keep going up the floor here. Again, let me see here. Right. Okay, we do that. And another flower pot. Uh, yes, like that. Close that and place the trapdoors in. So there we go, two flower pots on the stairs. The stairs are getting a little bit cramped, but I guess that's going to be fine. Up here, I think we're going to be having a living room. So this is kind of close to public. Can you say that? Um, so let me see any, any way we can close this for public. Could do something with this. Um, uh, we still want to be able to walk up here, but we kind of want to make it so it's kind of like a different new walk up. No, we can't. Okay, so we need one higher. Uh, and that we can't add that because of this underneath the window. We can still walk underneath here, but um, you know, so the sign might be good just to show customers I was gonna say but you know people who want to complain or something so office O F F I C E sorry for any typos I'm not English um, but anyway I think that's how it's spelled uh, we could do that office that way so office is going to be this way close the door close this door uh, we could add a carpet maybe is that gonna be, look good yes so carpet maybe black and green kind of medieval colors and we think we're just gonna go oh we can't place it there so just go with that very very simple design nothing too special we could make some going up the stairs um, very very simple nothing too major so like that up here we think we're gonna uh, break this up uh, somehow uh, so a full block of spruce wood so spruce wood, I want a bedroom up here, a bedroom, so do this, and then if he's a bedroom, it's going to be there, and I still want a little bit of space for him to sit down without, um, up here, oh, this is getting difficult, guys, this is getting very, very difficult, um, I want to add so much in so many things, but it's hard with this cramped space, um, so let me see, let me see. Again, it's easier for me just to grab it um, than go into my inventory and find it. And if you didn't know, you grab it uh, with the mitten, with the scroll button. You, you click that in and that pretty much grabs um, the item that you want. Um, so I think I'm just going to pause it here and see uh, what I can come up with here and I'll be right back. Okay guys, sorry about the little break there. Um, I was interrupted so I had to uh, stop recording there for a little while. Um, but anyway, we're back here and I think... Um, that I don't really have any more time left um, uh, on this house, but we, you know, we got a lot of things done. Now I think it, it, it kind of looks pretty good. Um, so I think we're just gonna stop here. And you know, I, I couldn't really find out what to do. I, I did some little bit of testing, testing there, so I couldn't really find out what I was going to do with that. So I think I'm just gonna uh, pause it here before I completely mess it up. Um, so just. One last thing before uh, we end this video is I want to show you a very very quick clip on of um, this in a night mode. So I think I'm just gonna do that and I'll um, create the out outro there. Okay guys, so here is basically the night uh, view or the night perspective of our city. Um, I promised in the video that I was gonna do this. I almost forgot to do this, but I remembered. So here it is. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to hit that bu like button. It really, really helps me out a lot. Um, and also, uh, please make sure to subscribe for more awesome content. Till then, internet guys. I'll see you later guys, take care.